Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the latest release of Microsoft Power Toys is version 0.85, which Microsoft rolled out about two weeks or so ago. And the latest new addition to the Power Toys utility app is New Plus. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, my reason for mentioning a new addition to Power Toys is because you have heard me say on the channel previously that I almost feel that Power Toys is becoming its own operating system because even recently Microsoft has been pushing a lot of new tools into the Power Toys app. And yeah, we can even see on the dashboard, um, I did a quick uh, tally and account of all the utilities and tools and there are 26 in total that are counted. So quite numerous. Now it seems that because of this, Microsoft is thinking of making a plan to kind of tidy up this left-hand menu where all the tools are found because if you look it kind of is quite a long list and can get a little bit confusing so it seems that microsoft is wanting to group the utilities by categories and this is something they have announced over on x with microsoft saying power toys has a ton of features and we'd love to iterate on our left side so if we head over to images from that um post over on X by Microsoft. This is a mock-up of a proposed um, new categories sections yeah, to the left-hand side. So here we can see if we zoom in, it's got system tools, windowing and layouts, input and output, file management, advanced. And if we just head to another image, this is more or less what it'll look like uh, if when that's expanded. So you can see you've got different tools under system tools that are pertaining to obviously more system um, categorized by system windowing and layouts input output file management so you get the idea so i think this is a nice move and um, this is just a mock-up this is a feature that isn't available as yet and i think this is nice because as mentioned power toys is getting very cluttered there to the left hand side and something like this i think would kind of just bring a little bit more organization and let you find a tool a lot quicker pertaining to the actual category that it's been placed in. So I think this is interesting and I might head over to X and just maybe give my two cents worth regarding this as well. But just putting it out there because obviously we do feature Power Toys quite regularly on the channel. And I think it is time, if we head back to how it currently is, I think it is time for a little bit of a cleanup. And this isn't the only um, so-called app that Microsoft is wanting to put into different categories because of... Um, a little bit of clutter if we head over to microsoft edge as i've mentioned previously microsoft is starting to categorize highly densely populated pages in microsoft edge so as an example if you head to appearance the same thing they are categorizing um the densely populated pages by just putting them into these sub menus and also these quick access shortcut buttons at the top of like appearance cookies and site permission, system and performance. And I'll leave a video on this um, link down below and in the end screen. So it seems that Microsoft um, is trying to do a bit of house cleaning. And um, I think having those utilities grouped in categories, as mentioned, like system tools, windowing and layouts, input, output, file management and advanced, I think that would definitely be a step in the right direction. And if you are using Power Toys, let me know what you think down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.